God bless you once again. And peace of God be unto you. Unto your family. Unto everyone. Every members of your family. The word of God make it clear. That my peace is what I live. For you and my peace is what I give to you. And your family members. To live in peace. Do not allow anything to trouble you. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God also and believe in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The foundation of your life, everything will be easy for you. Jesus is the Lord. But before I enter into my message, I love to preach about the coming of my father Jesus of Nazareth. The word of God says, set your house in order. Set your house in order. Repent and set your house in order. Change from your wicked way. Repent from your wicked way. You may ask yourself, I am not a sinner. How can I repent? That is the word of Nicodemus. But at the end, when you watch your life, you will see there is one place you are sinning against God. Even me. If I watch my life today, I will see one place I'm sinning against God. And that is why the word of God says, repent from your wicked way and prepare yourself for, for the coming of Jesus of Nazareth. But the message today is not anything. The word of God says, blessed are the peacemaker. Blessed are the peacemaker. It's not a justification for police brutality. Brutality, no. The word of God said, blessed are the peacemaker. And I ask, pastor, are you a peacemaker? Evangelist, are you a peacemaker? Apostle, are you a peacemaker? Reverend Father, are you a peacemaker? Archbishop, Archbishop, uh, Bishop, are you a peacemaker? Bishop, are you a peacemaker? The word of God said, blessed are the peacemaker. It's not a justification for police brutality. No. But the word of God said, make peacemaker. Jesus Christ of Nazareth you are serving is a peacemaker. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is a peacemaker. He started in peace and ended up in peace. And the word of God said that we should follow the first step of Christ. We should imitate Jesus, not any pastor. We should imitate Jesus, not Reverend Father. We should imitate Jesus, not Apostle. We should imitate Jesus, not Jeremiah. We should imitate Jesus, not, not, not Isaiah. We should imitate Jesus, not Pastor. The word of God says, imitate Jesus, not Pastor. Imitate Jesus, not Reverend Father, so sister, not Pastor, not eventually. But you should imitate Jesus. Are you doing it, child of God? Are you still protecting your pastor? Your evil pastor? Your satanic Reverend Father? Your marine Reverend Father? Your cultic Reverend Father? Your cultic pastor? Are you still protecting him? Are you still protecting her? Are you still protecting him or her? The word of God said nah, that we should follow the full step of Christ. Never you serve man. Never you serve pastor. Never you serve reverend fathers or sister. Never you protect evil. Say the truth and the truth will set you free. Be a peacemaker. Say the truth and the truth will set you free. The word of God says, say the truth and the truth will set you free. Do not protect. The word of God says, be witness of what you saw. Be witness of what you hear from God. Be witness of what God shows you about someone. Not what people say about themselves. Not what people call themselves. Not the title people call their uh, give, not the title give, people give give their say. No, be witness of what you see. Be witness of what you see, what you dream, what God showed you. 
do not, do not defend. Defend a matter you don't know anything about it. Do not jump into a matter you don't know what is going on. Because he is your pastor, because he is your reverend, because she is your sister, because she is your father, no. Be witness of what God showed you, what God revealed to you, what you see. Defend what you know about. Defend the truth. Do not defend evil. Do not defend evil, but defend the truth, brother. Sister, stand on the truth. Say the truth at any time, any moment. Do not be afraid to say the truth. The word of God say, good name is better than silver and gold. Good name is better than silver and gold. But bad name is worse than Seta. Bad name is Sejima Seta. Bad name is Sejima Seta. Omune Kwensu. Omune Kwensu, but bad name. Ejima Seta, but bad name. Don't defend him for. Don't jump into a case you don't know what, any, you don't know anything about. Try to play and fast that God will open your eyes to show you what is going on before you started defending your pastor. Before you started defending your reverend. Before you decided to defend your sister, your father, brothers and sister, apostle. Before you started defending bishop or archbishop. Try to fast and play. Try to see the face of God. Don't jump into the matter. Because of the money or the car pastor give to you. On the year ago, on the bus in the marriage, eh? because of the car, material reason, you will be overcarried. You will be overcarried. You will be overcarried like somebody that smoke, like somebody that drunk his said. You don't know if you're left and right. Because of material reason, because of fake miracles, because of um, agreement miracles, because of the money and matter, because of jeep, because of the private jet, pastor gave to you, gave to your mother, your father. That is why you jump into the cave, started defending him, started speaking good about him. Without knowing the truth, it is a party, brother. It is supporting. It is supporting. So, so bad. Very, very bad. You cannot give account. You say you cannot give account of your life, account of the man you are defending, account of the woman you are defending. Can you give account of it? No. The word of God said we should be a peacemaker. A peacemaker, but the pastors you are defending, all of them are not no more. There is not they don't believe in the power of God anymore. They trust they put their trust in police. They use police to intimidate the poor people. They use police to lock the poor people to put fear in the life of the poor. For the poor people not to say the truth again. Are you the only one? Jesus was criticized and abandoned. Do you see Jesus take anyone to court? Do you see Jesus charge anyone to court or sue anyone to court? No. He was abandoned. He was called all kind of names. He never took anyone to court. He never, he never, he never charged or sue anyone to court. But this is the pattern of fake pastors. Useless pastors, satanic pastors, pastors that have the blood of Satan in the in the veil, that have the blood of Satan in the blood. You do you think that you can silence the poor man, poor masses, not to speak when they say, not to talk? No, pastor, you can do it. You need to repent. Any pastor. They're using police 
The using police threaten the member, threaten the power. It's not a peacemaker. They are not a man of God. They are men of devil. Because Jesus said, Jesus never fight. The battle belongs to God. The battle belongs to God. You are there defending. Defending your pastor. I have had many of you people talking rubbish. Everybody defending pastor. Nobody defending the name of Jesus. Nobody talk about Christ. Nobody talk about people who speak evil about Christ. Everybody talking about my pastor. How can you speak this thing against my pastor? How can you charge my pastor? How can you accuse? Who is your pastor? Is he not a man mortar? Who is your pastor? If your pastor have respect, can't him respect his son? Let him respect his son. Play the gospel to them. Tell them to repent. Not to bring shame. Not to bring shame and disgrace to the house of God. Oh, yeah, but pastor, okay? Opisione, is he not one? Play the gospel to him. Please, play the gospel to her. Tell her to repent. Stop using, using people as a sacrifice to the altars of devil. Tell them, stop doing evil. I am against them. I owe them to rule the, the wicked out. So, Stop. I saw many of you, even in YouTube, in Facebook, speaking lobbies. Why should you talk about my pastor? Why should you talk? Nobody's defending Jesus. Oh, yeah. Everybody, my pastor, my pastor. I have sat ministry 30 years, 100 years. He has been ministry one, 1 million years. What, what is your problem? Eh? Don't you know there is some people that sign as a satanic agent? Whether you like it or not, they must speak. Jesus was persecuted. Jesus was contained. Jesus was contained. Even abandoned. Even the world accepted to release Barnabas, a condemned criminal, notorious criminal. And they accepted notorious criminal. They accepted him and abandoned Jesus to talk about you. Anyone talk about, is it what, what, are we fighting for Christ? Or are we fighting for pastors and left led? Are we fighting for the kingdom of God? Are we fighting for pastors and left led? No. Everybody is going to give account of his life on earth. Everybody is going to give account of his life. The word of God is to low. There is nothing you can do to silence the poor people not to talk, whether good or right. They must commit. They must talk. But what you need, tell your pastor, respect your sin. Repent from your wicked way. Change. Look at the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter, Ecclesiastes chapter 6, verse 6 says, I have seen another evil under the soul. Another evil under the soul. That is what I saw. That is what I saw. What I saw in Nigeria, what I saw in Africa. Another evil under the soul. It weighs heavy on the on a mankind. It is heavy on mankind. This sinful is heavy. It's heavy on mankind. This sinful that commit committed by those who call themselves children of God, by those who call themselves man of God, by those who call themselves children of God. None of them are following the way circle. Everybody come into the, into the church to make money. And the evil members become an agent to treating people, become an agent to, to talking to people, become an agent to supporting them, become an agent to become the bad bone, backing them. Papa, and continue your evil. Mama, continue.
Continue ya evo. Sel. Jill. GB. Continue ya evo. CA. Continue ya evo. Are you helping them? Or are you destroying them? Don't you know as your member, as a best friend of your pastor, as a best friend of the president or governor, don't you know that God created you, make you as the best friend for the purpose? Can't you, don't you know that God can use you as an instrument to deliver them? God can use you as an instrument to ad advise them. God can use you as an instrument to revise them, to revive them, to bring them closer to Jesus, to make them know that the ways they're following is a satanic and mighty way, that the ways of the wicked is destruction. Don't you know? Why are you not doing your work? You saw your pastor, your referee, your apostle, your bishop doing it for, and you support him. You support her. You cover her. You are prophetess and prophet, prophet doing it for, and you support him. Now, the, now, what is their aim now? What they're doing now? Anybody who talk to them, who talk against them, they will lock you. They will use police against you. And you call yourself a, past, a child of God. Where did Jesus Christ of Nazareth use police against the poor mass? Where did Jesus use police against someone in Bible? No way. He's a peacemaker. Jesus is a peacemaker. Where did Jesus use police? Where did Jesus use an umbrella or use a, use a you say a notorious criminal against people. Where and where? Can you show me, brother? Can you show me, sister? And you are there making your mind. My pastor. How can you speak? My pastor is innocent. Talk about yourself. Forget about me. Forget about others. I know myself, I know the Lord I'm serving, that I'm serving the living God. I will give account of my life. You cannot give account of my life for me. So, talk about yourself, sister, brother. Do not swear to your pastor or your reverend. Do not swear to your wife or your children. Swear for yourself. Stop deceiving yourself. Defend yourself. Don't defend any. Don't defend people because of material reason, because of money. It is appalling. So so bad to your destiny and your future. So so bad to your generation. If you don't repent, the word of God said that every one of us is going to give account of our life. The word of God said, Pastor Miracle. The slave of the word of God is going to give account of his life. If I do good, I will enter heaven. If I do bad, have fire, have fire. There is nothing like heaven. Not everyone who say, oh Lord, oh Lord, we enter the kingdom. But those who walk according to the destruction of our father, heavenly father. Are you doing it? Talk about yourself. Defend yourself. Tell yourself the truth. Stop defending occulted people. People that are using the brain and the knowledge and destiny of people. People are, that are frustrating the members. People are, who taught the member how to do forward now, how to do evil. Stop defending them. Say the truth. The word of God says, I have seen another evil under the soul. That that evil is heavy on mankind. A dangerous evil. And a criticizing chapter 4, verse 1 to 3 says something. And again, I looked and saw all the oppressors. Oppressions that was taking place under the sun. That was taking place all the oppressions that were taking place under the under the sun. I saw the tears of the oppressed, their tears. 
a poor man, a poor woman. Pastor, do you don't you forget that you started with the poor people? You started lovely. Have, have, have you forget soon that you started with the poor people, not rich people? Apostle, have you forget soon? That you started with the poor people, not rich people, not president, not governor, not house of representatives, not, not senators. You started with poor people. When you started your ministry, when you started your church, when you started your life, you started with poor people. Evangelists, have you forgot that you started with poor people? Bishop, have you forgot that you started with a poor people? You have started with poor people, not rich people. Now the same poor people who made you who you are, the same poor people that contribute their money, contribute their children's school fees, sacrifice their life to make you who you are, that is the people you are charging to court. That is the people you are using police against to build them. Not to talk, not to speak out. Who are you that people will not talk about you? Who are you that the people will not tell you the truth? Sit down. No lie never you know. We are careful. Because of your money, you are connected. Senators bow down for you. Governors bow down for you. Because they are under your feet. Because present control, you control, you go, you, you, you meet present, you have connection. You have connection with IG. You have connection with Inspector General Police. You have connection with him, uh, with Commissioner Police. You have connection with uh, anyone. You can do whatever you like. You can kill and bury. Nobody question you because this is poor people God used to make, made you who you are today. You started with them. the same money, the same life. Some lost their life of the sister, the mother, on place, on place to make you who you are. The, some lost their leg. Some are blind. Some are crippled. Some are paralyzed. Some lost their child. Some lost their husband. Some lost their wife. Some more divorced their husband and their wife. On place to make you who you are today. Have you forgotten soon? That is the same people you are fighting against. That is the same people you are, you are you sued to court. That is the same people you are using police against. That is the same people you are mocking. That is the same people you are calling poor people. That is the people you are calling that they are from lesser family. That is the same people you are calling they are nobody. Pastor, do you know how you started? You are nobody when you are started. Bishop, you are nobody when you started. Apostle, you are nobody. President, you are nobody. Governor, you are nobody. When you started, and you are maturating there, and you are maturating there, the word of God says, I saw the tears of a blessed, and they have no comforter in their heart. The heart is broke. The heart is pain. It's pain. The heart is full of pains. Have you seen a helpless someone on earth, brother? Have you seen a helpless someone? Have you seen a helpless someone to talk about a woman that lost her child in the house of God? A, a man that lost his child in the house of God? That a, a man that lost, lost her child her children, her lost her, her husband, a woman that lost her husband in the house of God. The word of God says, have you, have you have encounter with a helpless? Helpless is a difficult emotion. Her losing, to, losing someone is a difficult emotion to fight with. That can make it difficult for that make it difficult to deal with the obstacle. It will make you difficult 
to deal with obstacle, to deal with hindrance. You are in, and you are facing the challenges you are facing, the difficult when you are helpless, it will make it more difficult for you to deal with obstacle, to deal with the obstacle, hindrance you are facing. But, uh, but, but there are things you can do to feel strong and happy. Peacemaker. For you to encourage. For you to use me, imitate Christ. Come closer to that man, woman. Show him the love of Christ. Show her the love of Christ. Show him that you are, you are a different among people. You are the chosen one. Show her the reason why you are anointed. It is not by force. It is not by court. It is not by intimidation. It is not by oppressing him. It is not by telling him who, that he, he was born in a poor family. That is a that his clothes is full of poverty. It's not by calling him or her names. It's about showing him love, agape love. It's about showing him that you love him. That is what will make that woman, that man to be strong. Not throwing your money, the money you made through them on there. Not messing up with money. Do you think because you can share millions alone? That make you a man of God. People know who you are. Whether you share millions, whether you share thousands, billions of cars, thousands of millions, whether you go to school, people knows who you are. You perform miracle. Yeah? But people that cripple, people that have disease and sickness come to your church, you give them money, you give them car, you cannot hear them. You cannot hear them cripple come. Only arrangement, only, only those that uh, agreement miracle you hear. People, you distribute your money to the cripple. You pay your money, you give them, but you cannot hear them. The power of God doesn't move like that. Jesus is the Lord. He's a great healer. Will, nobody that come to the house of God, God will surely show his power in here if he believe. Except he don't believe that Jesus is the Lord. Only the agreement miracle, only the fake miracle, only satanic miracle you perform, those you give money to, 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 uh, to, to arrange agreement miracle. And you think that people don't know the truth because they are supporting you, because they are backing you, because they are telling you, because you, because you buy all the police in Nigeria, because you give them blood, be, even policemen know who you are. Even the president of Nigeria, the president of your country know who you are. You cannot. You, they know who you are. Your members know who you are. They know. You cannot deceive anyone, brothers and sisters. Leverage. You cannot deceive. You need to repent. You need to give your life to Christ. Prophet repent. Prophetess repent. Evangelist repent. Prophet Jeremiah repent. Prophet Jeremiah repent and give your life to Christ. Accept Jesus. Because Jesus doesn't move by anger. Jesus, you can move by anger against the wicked, against certain people, not against someone. Someone that is into mess, not again a poor man, a poor woman, a poor woman that's suffering depression. Solomon, repent. Don't move with anger. Don't move with police against people that accuse you or people that speak against you. That is not showing that you people are man of God. That shows that you people are satanic agent. Marine agent. Demons, you need to repent. You need to give your life to Christ. You need to imitate Jesus. You need to follow the footsteps of Jesus. I don't know the name you call yourself, but those people, 
that using police against against people that are causing them, against people that are speaking evil against them, they shall repent. Repent and give your life to Christ. Stop deceiving yourself. Stop deceiving yourself. The word of God is true. Nigeria is a land. Vipers, men and women, vipers, pastors and evangelists, so the blood of the innocent people and go God flee. They suck, they suck the blood of innocent people and go flee. Without punishment, because of the connection, because of whom they think they are. You can get it in Africa. Only in Africa you can get it. Only in Nigeria you can get it. Only, only in Nigeria you can see a a demonic or courty pastor, marine pastor, satanic pastor, suck people's blood in Africa and got free without punishment, without jail. You cannot do it in Germany. You cannot do it in the United States. If you do it in Germany, you will go to prison. You cannot do it in, in a modern world or in Africa. You can see an occultic pastor, Reverend Father. You can see an occultic woman. You can see an occultic uh, a, a, a senator, president, house of representative. You can see them suck innocent blood, in, in, intimidated, and God free. Without punishment. Without, without punishment. Without punishment. Because of their connection, because of who they are, it is appalling. I can see the shames you people have brought into the house of God. The shames. You don't want anybody to talk about you again anymore. You don't want anybody. But Jesus, the word of God says, they speak all kind of evil things against Jesus. Many accuse him. Many say more, many things. The word of God say, that is how people will speak against you. But imitate Jesus. The word of God say, follow the example of Jesus. The word of God say, be a peacemaker. Tell the brother, tell the sister that are cursing you. Tell the brothers and sisters that are speaking evil against you. Tell them that the battle be lost to God. Let God judge me and you. Let God judge me and you. Not to sue him to court. Not to, not to use police and intimidate him, beat him up, build the family up. It's a shameful thing. He fell again, me boom. He fell who no, ne me mo. He fell again, me kuno saro. He fell again, me. Look at you fighting with a poor man, a poor woman, a poor man, beating them up and down. Eh? With mobile police. Beating them with poor army, beating them with police, and you call yourself a child of God, and you call yourself a man of God. Which child of God? Which man of God you are? Are you a man of devil? Where and where? Even Paul himself was sued to God by the enemies. Not Paul sued them to God. Paul was maltreated by the enemies. Not Paul maltreated anyone. Because the battle will be lost to God. The word of God says, keep still that the battle, I will fight for you. Why can't you allow God to fight for you? If you are innocent of what they charge, the, the, charge, the charge placing against you, the accusation, the charge, why can't you allow Jesus to fight for you? Why can't you allow the word of God to fight for you? Why are you fighting for yourself? Anyone that fighting for yourself will soak his hand with blood. You must commit. You must sin against God. Anyone that decided to fight for yourself, you must commit. I am telling you, police in Africa, I am telling you, pastors and bishops and apostles and prophets and prophetess in Africa, stop fighting for yourself. I don't believe in Iwe I don't. I don't believe that you have power. I don't believe that you are serving the living God when you are fighting for yourself. Because no, no one fight for himself except God give you instruction. 
You are fighting, we are fighting against flesh. We are not fighting against flesh and blood, but against principalities and power, the rulers of darkness, spiritual, the weak, spiritual wickedness in high places, not flesh and blood. That woman is a flesh and blood. She's a flesh and blood. That man is a flesh and blood. The battle belongs to God. Commit the battle into the hands of God. Allow God to fight for you. Allow God to fight for you if you have power. Don't deceive people. In, you are doing miracle. You are performing money. Why can't you use the power of your miracle against anyone that puts, plays a charge against you? Against anyone that speaks evil against you? Why can't you use their power? If you say you are the man of God, the word of God said, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. The word of God said, whosoever that curse you will be cursed, whosoever that bless, bless you will be blessed. Allow the word of God to take judgment. Allow the word of God to fight for you. Allow the word of God to go before you and every, every mountain. Allow the word of God to bring, bring good news for you. Anyone that fighting for himself or herself is going to soak himself or herself with blood. You must commit. When I see all those pastors and all those miracles they're doing, I saw, I saw, I, I see all those, uh, I see all one day people because I don't believe that you call yourself a man of God, you call yourself a child of God, and you are allowed, you are fighting for yourself, you are using police, you are using government power, you are using authority power to fight for yourself. To intimidate the poor masses, to intimidate people, to call people a poor people, to call people a poor man or a poor woman. It is supporting. So, so bad. Repent. Change. The word of God says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 1 to 3, he says it again. Power was on the side of the oppressors. Power was on your side, pastor. You can do whatever you like. Power is in your side. You have the connection. Pleasant, the wicked, you can do whatever you are like. The word of God says, power is in the hand. And they have no comforter, but they have no comforter. There is no one that advises them good. They just do the will of devil. And uh, I declare that the dead who has already died, are happy than the living world who are still alive. That the dead, you made their life miserable. That the dead who have already died are happy more than the people that are living under your roof, more than the people that are living on earth because of your evil, because of your intimidation, because you thought you have money. Your end will be destruction. If you don't repent, you will end up in solos. You will end up in solos. Allow God to fight for you. Don't fight the battle for yourself. If you are a man of God or a woman of God, allow Jesus to fight for you. When I see you fighting the battle for yourself, I saw you as a cattle man or woman. You don't have power. You are deceiving your members. You are fooling them. Because Jesus said, Imitate the Jesus, that name you are calling. Follow his footsteps. The battle belongs to God, not you. The battle belongs to God. Look out there, crying, sharing tears because of the evil. Some of them in prison because of the evil you committed. Some of them is in grave because of defending your evil. And you don't want to wake up members. Be witness of what you know and what you saw. Don't defend what you don't know. Holy God may let you to know the go to. The word of God says, because power is in the side of oppressors, those evil people, they, are, they, are, they use the same power, the same money, to place them, 
to intimidate the power, to intimidate them, to put them in prison, to put them in prison, to silence them, not to speak the tongue. And the word of God says, the dead that the I declare that the dead who has already dead are happier than the living who are still alive because of the wicked ones. You made a life miserable. You was born. Let me ask you a question. You was born. You were born. I want you to understand. Your mother carry you nine months in your womb. The same child, the same woman, we are carried nine months in the womb of the mother too. So when you talk about somebody to be helpless, when you talk about somebody, somebody to be helpless, when you talk about somebody to be helpless, you understand the feeling of helpless. Fleeing helpless is something that many people experience from the time to time, month to day, month, year to year. It is a fleeing that can occupy after a period of stress, after a period of obstacles and hindrances, after a period of problem, tribulation, and persecution. In that case, it can be a symptom of a mental illness. That a woman carried a child nine months and lost that child. It is like a, me a mental illness in their life. That can such as depression such as depression, frustration, that this woman cannot sleep, that this man cannot sleep. Could you imagine that a woman came into his house and saw the spirit of his son or daughter crying, mama, 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 papa, and he want to, he lay, he lay his hand, her head. she want to sleep, the spirit appeared, mama, mama, She's going to market. He saw the spirit on the way. Appear and disappear. Mama, mama. Is it not a mental illness? This is what the woman under glory. This is my, what the man under glory. A man that has such a thing. As a man of God, a child of God, you follow the footsteps of Christ. You make peace. You make this happen. You make the world to know that you are innocent. The word of God said, let my light in you shine out that the unbeliever will see it and glorify my name. The people you call unbeliever, they are no longer seeing the light of God in you, the light of Jesus in you. How can they glorify the God you are serving? How can they know that you are serving the living God? The word of God said, Allow my light in you to shine out that the people around you will see it and glorify my name. When the unbelievers whom want to see the light and be converted, they did not see the light. What did they think that they will take you? They will not believe you anymore. Because you 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 are acting, you are you act like uh, Aburu, like the toss. Like satanic thoughts and marine thoughts. You are not acting like a child of God. You are not following the footsteps of Christ. This is a fight you have to fight with devil, not a human being. And the word of God says, a woman that passing depression, a man that passing depression, crying for her, crying for her. A man, a woman that suffered nine months, a carry a child, crying for her. And you don't have the heart of Jesus, a merciful heart. Even if the woman is 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 refused to comfort, it is it, it, if you in her shoe or in his shoe, the same thing will happen to you. It's not easy to carry a child in nine months and lost it. It is not easy. 
to comfort that man or woman who lost her child or lost his child is not easy. It's a matter of ye. Ye, ye to ye, time to time. It's a matter of the word of hope, world motivation world, in college world. Make him to know that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is, is the Lord. Play for her, play for him to receive Christ and forget the past. Play for him to come closer to Jesus, to repent, be a peacemaker. Talk to him, play for him, play for her day and night. Not taking him or beating him to court, take him to sue him to court, you have the best lawyer. Lawyer, lawyer, now my you can come on key. Emma Kananda, you have a key for lawyer, your name, I am your lawyer. I, I never lose case. You never lose case. Who are you? Who are you? That who are you? You never lose case. I will tell you why you accuse the pastor, why you accuse the leveler, why you accuse the is it that the word of God says nobody is above law? No one is above law except Christ and his son. Except Christ and his father, the most high God. Follow the footsteps of Christ, the children of God. Do not follow the footsteps of devil. Follow the footsteps of Christ. Are you struggling with another sim symptoms? like depression have you have encounter with depression have you have encounter with helpless have you have encounter with hopeless have you have encounter with someone with uh, someone that frustrated in life sadness home homelessness losing of him interest that might be connected that might be connected have you have encounter? That is what it's like. Somebody, that is what it's like. Are you struggling with the symptom of those things? Are you struggling with the symptom of sadness? Are you struggling with the symptom of depression? Are you struggling with the symptom of losing of interest? What is what can you do? For the person to be connected, what can you do for the person to recover? What can you do for the person to believe in the name of Jesus? Is it not the word of encouragement? Is it not prayer and fasting? Praying, making intercession, prayer on behalf of that Lord, that help, that God will be his, he or her help. Uh, hope that Jesus will help him, that Jesus will be his helper or her helper, Jesus will be his hope. Is it? Charging him or her to cut, threatening him, telling him, pouring all sort, all kind of insult upon him or her. That is a poor wretched woman or man. That is born in poor family, poverty and eat you up. Is it the way to make the woman to feel happy? Is it the way to make the man to feel happy? A man that lost his child, a woman that lost his child. A woman that is speaking evil against you, a woman that plays a charge against you. The word of God says no one has power to place a charge against God, a wretched world. It is the power of it is the word of God. Allow God to prove you just prove you, prove you right, prove you right in the sight of God. The book of Isaiah say, accuse me, let's go to trial. Say for your case that you will prove your right in the sight of God. Why can't you prove your right in the sight of God? Is it in the sight of, in police station you want to prove right or in the court? Is it in the sight of the police you want to prove right? No. Prove your side in the sight of God. Prove your right in the sight of God. Allow, the, allow justice to take place. The word of God says, as long as your enemy is guilty, the justice belongs to you. Allow that justice to take place. There is nothing like injustice. When you go into that place, when you shoot in intimidating a poor woman, a poor man because of your power in government or because of what you have, it is injustice. Abomination. Jesus did not teach us that. 
From Matthew to Revelation, I have never seen Jesus done such. I have never seen the most I God done such. I have never seen the man of God, mighty man of God, Paul, Apostle Paul, and the Isaiah done such. We should not imitate the ways of the wicked. We should not imitate the ways of uh, protesters. We should not imitate the ways of senators, governors, the ways of house of representatives of the wicked, of the rich, rich, evil, rich people. We should imitate the ways of Christ, follow the ways of Christ, and see what God can do. Because you, when you have never had encounter with those things, that is why you are you can defend. That is why when you say when you hear that somebody died here or somebody is missing here, you will be talking rubbish. If your wife gets missed, you will not talk rubbish. If your child gets missed, you will not talk rubbish. If your mother gets missed, you, you will not talk rubbish. If your father gets missed, you will not talk rubbish. If your police get missed, you will not talk rubbish. If your blessed get me too, if two of your blessed get missed, you will not get missed, you will not talk rubbish. If you wake up, you didn't see your two eyes, you will not talk rubbish. You will cry for help. So if you see a brother or sister that are crying for help, your work is to comfort him. Your work is to preach the word of God to her or him. Your work is to motivate him. Your work is to bring the spirit back again. Because what happened to that sister, what happened to that brother may happen to you. May happen to your brothers or sister, may happen to your mother, may happen to your well wishers. And when such a thing come across you, what are you going to? You will see for help and help with you will not see help. Because what you saw, you will leave it. The word of God, I believe the word of God. Because it's the power of God that exists on earth. It is my power. Are you to perform miracle? Heal disease and sickness. The word of God said, whatever a man sow, sowed, he will reap it at appointed time. How can you be used as an instrument of the devil? Calling people in phone, treating them, telling them, why are you criticizing this man of God or woman? Are you a judge? Are you a defender? Why can't you mind your own business? Why can't you, why can't you repent and give your life to Christ? Why can't you see the face of God? Wait for the appointed time. You may die. Do you think that you will end up in this earth? It's an in at all or what? It's an in at all. Do you think that you will live in this earth forever? Few years you will live. God, nobody will live in this place, in this world forever. Watch and see. TB Joshua has gone. If you tell the TB Joshua, such a thing. If you tell people that TV Joshua will come like that, they will not believe. Nobody will live in this earth forever. As God has appointed a man to die and go at appointed time. No one will live in this, in this on this earth forever. So you are intimidating the poor. You are messing up. You are calling them all kind of name. All sort of the name does not mean anything. At appointed time you go. You will leave the earth. Many mighty warriors, many Reverend Father, mighty Reverend Father, many people, many senators present, they have left the earth. They have left the earth to talk about you. So the word of God says, verse 30 says, but better than a better than a boat in the same in the one, but better than both is the one who has never been power. The one who has never been power, who has never been, who has not seen the evil on this earth, that is thrown under the sun, the people, unborn people, only the people that is better is unborn people. It's better than the dead. The Lord said that they are happy more than the living uh, people that are alive. 
People that are more than the living one on earth because of the wicked, because of the temptation, because of the oppressors, because of what they're doing against them. They, they, they don't want them to say truth. They don't want them to say the truth again. It, they, whenever they are right to say the truth, you will see someone which is one to silent here. But the word of God said we never be quiet. Jesus said we never be silent and we never be quiet. Until be unless until my light shall shine like a burning torch in the life of my children. You can never use your morning police station or call to silent the poor. You can only silent the poor, but you cannot silent Jesus. You cannot silence the word of God. You cannot cover the word of God. You cannot bury the word of God. You can kill and bury, but not the word of God. At a point in time, you will leave what you saw. At a point in time, your sin will hate be after you. The word of God said, God have no place on the wicked, in the sin of the wicked, but the sin of the wicked will destroy the wicked. Your sin will be after you at a point in time. Your sin will be after you and your descendant. Your sin will be after you until he destroy you, until you, your sin expose you. The word of God in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 6 verse 10 to 14 C. Whatever a seed has already been named, whatever a seed has already been named on earth, God has already Give them names one by one. All those things that lady are passing, that crepe lady are passing, God ordain it that he will make a wicked soul like you people. That things a blind man are passing, God have already named it that he will make a wicked people like you people. Those things a that dumb man has passing, the Lord have already named it to be. That is going to, he or she is going to have encounter with you people. They want people like you. But the word of God let me know that I should tell them that the sickness is not to, to them, but to glorify the name of God. That the name of Jesus will be glorified. The word of God says, whatever a sister has already been named, and what humanity is, has been known, no one can count it with someone who is drunk. No one can count it with someone who is drunk. Eleven said, the more the worse and the lesser the meaning. How does it that profit anyone to gain the world and lose his life? A poor woman, you intimidate him, intimidate her. A poor man, you intimidate him and lose your life. What shall it profit you? You have power in government. You do whatever you do. You make magic you like. All those Obanje magic, Abiko magic, Abarataba magic, Ozingo Boya, your magic in your church. And God flee. Nobody question you. You blind the judge, you bribe the police, you bribe them, you give them money, you throw money, you spend money on them, they are praising you, they are defending you, threatening the innocent right, telling the innocent right that they will kill them, they will do them, that, and you are now sitting on your seat, on your throne, laughing, laughing. That you have warriors, satanic warriors, who defend you, who fight for you. The word of God says, what shall it profit you to gain, this, to gain those things and lose your life? Why can't you repent, brother? Why can't you change, pastor? Why can't you repent, bishop? Why can't you change, reverend? Why can't you repent, children of God? Coming of Jesus is at hand. My prayer is for you to have 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 a place, secure a place in this kingdom. My prayer for myself that I will secure a place too. I am praying that in my life day and night. 
I want to be with my father Jesus. Because what profit me not? If I may die for the sake of Christ, I will be happy. If I can end up in heaven, I will be happy. I am interested. And I will do what I can do to secure a place. Only for the grace and the mercy of God. I pray for God to help me. I help you too. Because you need the help of the Holy Spirit. I need the help of the Holy Spirit. As I'm preaching to you, I am preaching to myself. We need to repent. We need to change. We need to revive ourselves. We need to change the system of, oh, oh, system of how we are operate church. Serve God in spirit and the truth. Not deceiving ourselves. Not having skeleton in our cupboard. Not having skeleton in your cupboard. Not be a deceiver. We need to be faithful to God and faithful to human beings. The book of Ecclesiastes, the word of God says, verse 11, the more the world, the more the words, and then lesser the meaning. And how does the thou profit anyone? For who knows what is good for a person in life? For who knows what is good for a person in life? Do you do you in the few of meaningless days they pass to look like a shadow? Your days remain that remain. What do you think that you are going to get? Have you prepared yourself to repent for the years and for the many days that remain in your life? Because you are not going to end here. Who can tell them what will happen under the sun after they are gone? Prophet, Levelet, Bishop, Apostle, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Peter, John, Ngozi, Okay, Chiku, who will tell you what is going on under the sun when you, when, when you are gone? When the left lane is gone? Who will tell you what is going on on this earth? Who will tell you what is going on on your church? Who will tell you what is going on on your company? Who will tell you what is going on in your family? Who will tell you what is going on on your wife? Who will tell you what is going on in your children? Who will tell you what is going on in the astrolog? When you die in power, who will tell you what is going on in your throne? No one. You, you gone, you gone forever. You're gone, you're gone forever. And the word of God lets me know that the, the beginning of the, the, the beginning of suffering of the wicked, that the, the, is the, the death, the death of the wicked is the beginning of suffering of the wicked. The death of a cultic man is the beginning of suffering of a cultic man. The death of a cultic person is the beginning of suffering of a cultic person in the spirit realm that will suffer. The word of God says, when you are gone, pastor, when you are gone, bishop, when you are gone, lovely father, when you are gone, evil man or woman, evil leader, when you are gone, pleasant and governor, who will tell you what we, what is going on? What is going on on earth, under the sun? Who will tell you? Can you know? If any man and again, if any man or again, no, you will never know it anymore. It's gone, it's gone. When God decided to take the blood, your blood, nobody on earth will tell you what is going on in your company anymore. Nobody will tell you what is going on in your church anymore. I want you to share this message all over the world. Save many people. Save many people who thought that they are 
Kang, who told the Arita? Who told the have power? Who told the have money? That intimidating the poor. That throwing the poor inside the prison, inside those beings, killing them and throwing them away. The word of God says, if they are gone, who will tell them what is going on under the, under the soul? No word. If they're gone, they're gone forever. Share this message. Be used as an, be used as an instrument to educate people, to make people to repent, to make people to repent. Change from the wicked way. God will bless you. God will bless you. My God will bless you. Jesus of Nazareth, the King of glory, share the message and be blessed, brother. To share the message, I have told you they will touch the number. Don't be afraid of any word. Play the gospel. Tell the gospel, play the gospel. Play the gospel to me, play it to any word. God can use you as an instrument to deliver any soul. Preach it to your pastor. Preach it to your reverend. Preach it to your bishop. Preach it to your mother, father, sister. Tell them to repent from their wicked way. Tell them to accept Jesus as their Lord and their personal Savior. My God, the weapon of war. They say the weapon of war. With this, if the power in this world of God possess you, you remain indestroyable. Pastor, repent. Leave that lady. Leave that man. Don't intimidate him or her because of your money. Allow her to say whatever she like. Allow her, allow him to say whatever he like. Always pray for him. Always inter make intercession prayer for him. I'm not against any world, but I'm against the spirit of the devil that possesses you. If you are possessed by the devil, I am against the spirit that possesses you. I'm not against you. My work is to destroy that spirit and set you free. That is why I'm telling you the truth. To use police on the poor masses is not good. You started with them from the beginning. Or to, 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 to abandon them, to call them all type, many names. Jesus never do so. We are in the generation of hyper, wicked generation, satanic. Repent, change, it shall be well with you. I pray that this message... It's going to convert many souls, revive many souls, put many souls together, make many souls to follow the footsteps of Christ, make many souls to discover their fault and repent from it. Both spiritual and physical in the name of Jesus. And any power that will stand against it, I command fire from the throne of the Most High God to consume that power. Holy God, fire, consume that power. Receive salvation, repent, forget about your name, Forget about your titles. Forget about who you are. Think about the coming of Christ. Think about that every human being are equal. Nothing like discrimination. Nothing like xenophobia. Nothing like the, the, the discrimination is a, it's nothing. We are equal in the sight of God. We are equal and the same. And every one of us come from the same place. And every one of us is going to return, down, return back to us. So don't take advantage of someone. Because you have money. You have power. Because you, you, because of you, you have connection. Always play. Always be your brother's keeper. Always, always do the work of God in their life. Always protect Jesus, protect his name, protect his power, protect his personality. Not human being. The word of God says it. 
that you can speak anything against anyone. But that man that speak against that woman that speak against the Holy Spirit of God is under the curse of God forever. You are not Holy Spirit, you are a man of God, you are a reverend father or sister. If you are done by God, anyone that speaks against you, it is for, for God to fight for you and for God to cause the person, not you. It is for God to define the person, not you. Even in the point of death, Stephen played, God have mercy, for they don't know what they're doing. That man Stephen was stoned to death to talk about a male accusation. A male charge, just an ordinary charge. Somebody, Nasini Bunka Bolenka. That is why you are using your money and your power on that person. It is appalling. So, so bad. Very, very bad. Repent. Bring peace in the kingdom of God. Be a peacemaker. Teach people how to make peace. Teach people how to love their brothers and as, as they love their self. Teach people, let them know that we are fighting against Antichrist. We are fighting against satanic instruments. We are fighting against marine instruments. We are fighting against principalities and power, not flesh and blood. God bless you. And peace of God be unto everyone that listen to this message and put it in action. I pray that this message will bear fruit in your life and the fruit will abide forever. That you shall be the doers of the world, not only a healer. That you shall be used as an instrument of Christ. That Jesus of Nazareth, we arrest you, both those that are speaking against the name of Jesus, you will be arrested. You will be arrested one day to preach about the coming. You will be arrested one day to preach about the resurrection of Christ. Many people have done it, and God has rested. I pray for the mercy. I give you the chance to, to, to know Jesus and know him. I pray that Jesus will arrest every one of you to preach about his coming. God bless you, and peace of God be unto you. Unto your family once again. God bless you. I shock everyone that will listen to this message with the blood of Jesus. The heart with the blood of Jesus. I soak you spiritual physical with the blood of Jesus and your family. And whatever you do, you're the word of God to build a word of fire around about you, spiritual and physical. God bless you and peace of God be unto you. God bless you once again.